Well, hello everyone. This is Wilson Cole, and I'm president of Backdoor Hires and Adams, Evans, and Ross. And I want to uh, take a minute to discuss possessory periods and how you want to put those into your agreements. And I have a lot of clients ask, hey, Wilson, is uh, uh, 12 months, 18 months, 20 months, uh, 24 months, uh, what should I put in uh, for my possessory period? And uh, I would say the longer is the better, as, as long as it's uh, reasonable. And let me kind of give you an example. The worst thing you can do, in my opinion, is to not put a possessory period in there because a lot of folks think, well, you know, I can own them for life. And that's just simply not the case. Let me ask you a question. If you present a candidate and they hire them in three weeks, uh, then everybody would pretty much look at that and say, yeah, you're probably owed. Uh, but let's say they hire them in 35 years. Would you be owed? Uh, probably not. Okay, two extremes, but where is that line? And the fallback position becomes industry standard, which is typically 12 months. But let's assume that your client uh, has a uh, terms and conditions uh, that they always follow, that they don't pay anything over six months. Well, that's why you want to have you know the devils in the details. You want to have those agreements worked out. Uh, standard is 12 months, uh, and that you know, seems to be what most clients go with. I know uh, we're seeing a lot of 24-month contracts, and you're probably pretty good. You know, I had uh, one of our clients say, well, I'm going to put a 10-year uh, possessory period on there, and that is absolutely uh, probably not going to hold up uh, if if somebody were to get hired because uh, the debtor would, would uh, claim that it was unreasonable and things on those lines. So that one to 18 to 24 month is probably the safest route to go. Uh, but all of this hinges on getting a signed contract. If you have a contract and they fail to sign it, uh, as we've discussed many times in these past videos, is they, they could argue that they didn't agree to it. And you can have in there, you know, that if they hire them, they agree to, um, to pay uh, your fee. Well, let me ask you this. If you were getting married next week and you sent your spouse over a prenuptial, and said, hey, I need you to sign this. And if you don't sign it, but you marry me anyway, uh, you agreed to it. Well, I can tell you, uh, everybody looks at that and says, no, that's not going to hold up. So if it doesn't hold up on a prenup, why on earth would that uh, clause hold up um, in, in a uh, recruiting agreement? We can go back and argue that there was a meeting of the minds or unjust enrichment, have our staff attorney argue it, have our litigating attorney argue it. Uh, but it's always better to have a signed agreement. But Agreements are only as good as the clauses that are in there, and you know, at minimum of a 12-month, uh, and we always tell our clients 12 months from the last presentation or discussion about the candidate. That resets the clock, because what happens if somebody uh, starts a search, six months later they pause it, and then they ask you 10 months, you know, at the 10-month mark to start, and then they hire them four months later. We have had debtors say, well, they presented them 14 months ago. Well, you started and stopped it and asked them to reach back out uh, at month 10. So you want to have some some uh, safety uh, in that as well. If you have a collection uh, that we can help you, you can certainly visit me over at staffingdebt.com and book an appointment. If you want to look for Backdoor Hires, uh, go to backdoorhires.com and book an appointment to see our demo of our software. And uh, hopefully we can find you a pile of cash. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Wilson again, and this video was brought to you by Backdoor Hiring Solutions. And if you like the content, make sure that you click the like button. And also, if you want to receive additional uh, videos, then please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to learn more about our software, uh, please visit our website at backdoorhires with an S.com. And then also, if you'd like a copy of my free book, The Top Nine Excuses, please click in the, uh, the uh, video notes below, and there's a link where you can get this book absolutely free. Just simply pay for shipping and handling. Thank you.